hey guys in this step we'll be going for the deployment step okay so again we these are some prerequisites we should have in our system and uh, we already have the repository in our local system so we'll be going for the devops this part and uh, environments okay so again from the root we'll start so i'll open a new power shell is okay and here will be sorry cd yeah so environment okay so there's a one more thing they have mentioned the quick start local digit this particular domain either we should have domain and uh, then we should expose and all that the second part is if we make an entry in our local system about the domain so our local setup will work so we are going to make this entry in our local setup okay one is with a 127 and one is with a public ip so we again drivers etc host file so i'll open a notepad net node yeah and this we'll see the all the file host file and this uh, we'll be measuring the public ip which is here okay so this is what is done so for testing what we can do is just for testing you can see something showing this ip when it got okay now going for this step we need to go for deployer okay now we are already okay we can reopen a new instance okay so we'll be doing this now we need to run this particular command okay let's wait for some time okay uh, so after running this command we need to select yes so we'll say yes do you want enter the full path of cube config file so we'll be giving the path of this file copy path paste it enter it please enter the context so we'll be mentioning this okay and we will be going the quick start setup to dot public events exit config yes it will take some time so we'll wait for that Want to say thank you. We will check the whether it's creating all the parts or not. Okay, it's an initiation phase. Let's see, and we can hide this part so that it's creating. We'll wait for some time. Yeah, it's creating all. okay so there's some problem with the kafka cluster both are having the crash loopback uh, loopback of problem so for that um, ego team has already mentioned the solution so again we need to go into cluster and uh, we need to get the permission and then we need to see so to going back to the cluster the command is
we need to mention the public IP like this okay this is the command okay so we are on this part yeah. git bash right so we need to go to home directory we need to give the permission okay and now we need to do this this we can do it in local system only right so again the step we should do it in VM system, so I'll be mentioning the path. And uh, we should have the car parts. Yeah. So again, we'll check it whether now it's working or not. Yeah, it's working. Okay, so both things are running. Now we can use our call command. We are in local system. This should be okay. The next step is after the deployment, we need to we want to see the site. So for that, we need to first do the queue forwarding. So what does it mean? It's like we are creating a tunnel between local system and deployed system. Okay. So this is what we are going to do. We'll just verify all our pods are ready or not. All are up. Yeah, and uh, we have done the queue forwarding. Now we will be, we already have a postman. We will be importing this bootstrap URL. Okay, seek data. So we'll open the um, postman. In that, we'll keep the link. Continue. Import. Okay. So we will do right click or uh, run this collection. Okay. So all our calls should be successful. We'll just see whether it's working. Yes, 200, 200. Yeah, all are. Yes. Okay. So credentials are also means execution is done. So next step is we can open this in our local system so i'll be opening in the private browsing okay secure i'll get the username zero and uh, password is city a yeah so this is the interface where we can find a company in and we can see it okay so that's all our quick setup is done now we should delete the setup so as we are this for local setup okay or uh, again uh, if we want to delete the cluster step by step then what we have to do is we have to again go back to the our vm machine so i'll be doing this part okay i'm logging to remote machine right i'll be it doesn't have this okay so the best option right now we have is we will go back to our terraform folder and we'll destroy the complete terraform we will destroy this setup only so again if you go back to the previous step so in the last it was mentioned terraform destroy so what we'll do is we will be going for root folder okay we'll be going to this particular path sorry okay we we'll copied some place yeah. here so we'll be this path is not fully correct okay that's it it's a 
quick start AWS EC2 yeah and then Terraform destroy wait 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 actually uh, previously we were not able to show the EC2 right so it was showing instance because we have selected the US East one so if we select the AP South Mumbai we should be able to see the instances it's running so now I'll run this data form destroy okay so again the setup will should be get deleted yeah so we again need to verify yes let's see let's wait for some time yeah shutting down so there's a clean installation and clean setup so that's all for this session thank you for your time have a nice day bye okay